um, my name's Rosie. I come from Littlehampton School and um, I've come to Addis, Advert in Ethiopia to do an activity week with some special needs children. Hello, um, I'm Adam Miller and I've come from Windrushamal School. I'm here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It's very hot. I'm Kieran, I go to Littlehampton Community School. Um, I'm here with a charity called Cred, working with special needs children. Hi, I'm Martha Gray and I'm from Windersham House School in England and I'm in Ethiopia and I'm here to help children with special needs and in a school in Addis Ababa um, called IHA UGP. None of us had ever been to Addis before and not many of us had worked with children with special needs. The training Craig gave us helped loads, but nothing could really prepare us for the amazing welcome we got from our new friends in Ethiopia. We were there to run an activity week called The Zone for children in the slums with special needs. We all stayed together at a small hotel in the centre of Addis, three or four to a room. It was great fun. We had to wear these orange shirts all week. James and Paul said it was so that we would be easily recognised as a team, but we reckon they just liked looking like tango men. The project we were working with is called IHA UDP, and they have been friends with CRED for about 12 years. My lasting impression is that life means so much to these people. The material possessions they have are not the most important things to them. They seem to live for the moments they have, rather than the ones they have lost. We recognised the school and some of the children from a Qued film that we saw at our school. The school there educates about 2,000 children, and they have just had their first student go to university, which is amazing. They have two special needs classrooms, one for primary age children and the other for teenagers and young adults. Cred have a special relationship with these children and young people. We couldn't wait to start working with them. We took about 10 suitcases of activity equipment out, but it was us they got so excited about. You could feel your heart bursting with happiness as we played on the parachute, sung, danced, modelled with Play-Doh and made sock puppets. <laughs> <laughs> we watched the children's skills improve each day. It was so fantastic. One little girl with Down syndrome sang a song we taught her. She sang it so well and we were so proud of her. They loved the balloons. We drew faces on them together with felt tip pens. And some of the boys did sword fighting with them. Every time one popped, everybody clapped and laughed. The Play Doh sessions lasted all afternoon. We made it out there and left it with the teachers along with all the other equipment. Two together. <laughs> the outcome. We are really grateful for all our friends and family in England who supported and sponsored us, gave football kit and equipment for us to take out and also coped with our emotions and tiredness when we got home. The Ethiopians are very proud of their country. It is an ancient civilization which, confusingly, has just celebrated its second millennium. As we walked around the streets, we played football, leaving the balls behind as a gift. One group of lads we were playing football with were totally barefoot. So Paul shouted, shoes, and came out with a bag full of trainers and astros that people back in England had given. We knelt down and fitted their feet with the right sized shoes, doing their laces up for them. Bye bye. 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 bye.